I guess you guys remember this. This is a Raspberry Pi Pico. We have used this in two or three projects, I guess. Uh, Android brute force and installing backdoor in a computer system. And obviously, this is something that is used to create interesting things, right? In this video, we are going to take the use of it for a fun project that not very advanced, but yet it will be fun. Actually, Diwali has just passed and some siblings came to my place and they were messing up with my system because when I typed in my password, they saw it. So this time I am trying to create this into a UB key and my system can't be unlocked while I'm using this. So let's see how I'm doing it and how you can make it more better because since now this is just a tutorial, I'm not making it much very complex and very advanced. But I'll just tell you how you can advance it so that you can practice yourself and get it more better. Uh, before we proceed, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And also follow me on GitHub because you can get, uh, I guess, some good repositories. So that's all. And Lord, let's jump into the tutorial and let's see how it's going to work. So here we are using Ubuntu on a virtual machine and I have installed Thorny as the code editor. You can also do this on Windows. Uh, how to set up this is explained in the video in the I button. And after setup you can do is in Windows, just go to select interpreter and select circuit Python as the interpreter because uh, first at first we try to go to micro Python generic, but since we are using the Python uh, for editing, we are using circuit python and then we are selecting the device okay so i have a connected device so that is what i am selecting and then that's all i need to do now this is the files in that okay the code.py is the main file the library files is added with adafruit hid which means the modules required for keyboard layouts and other than that we have the system volume information the boot out files and the flash nuke if you don't know what flash nuke is it is just used to uh, reboot this okay so i use this to reboot so whenever i want to reboot it i just remove it and then add it and it will just refresh it so the code works something like this we are importing time for a delay that we need then we are using usb hid because we want to use this as a hid device which means uh, hardware input device and we want to use it or represent it to the system that it is the keyboard. So we are using the layout, the keyboard and the key code modules. We are importing the functions from there. And then we are assigning a variable to use those functions. Okay. At first we are creeping a sleep timer of one so that it takes a little time before it's run. And then we are typing the password. So currently the password is very simple. You see and then we have to press enter and also then we have to release enter after a little duration now the password is too simple right let's first run and see if it's working and then i will tell you the solution to make it a more complex so if i run it okay and you see it types in strange and then enter you see it said enter that's why it came in right down here now let's talk about creating it complex so you can type in the password in different languages you can set your system password as in hindi or any other language like romanian and uh, some other languages like chinese in which we don't use english alphabets like this you can just copy it and add it to your password and you can do the same to put it right here and then it will be a very complex password that no keyboard can unlock it ever even if tried with brute force so this is all a simple project and uh, obviously it might be secure and fun that's all in this video and uh, the last thing that i want to point out is what if someone steals this device so at that point you can update it right you can buy a fingerprint module and uh, you can add that fingerprint module to this board and then you can use your fingerprint to enter the password which means whenever you touch your fingerprint that there's only the time when you enter the password so that's are some of the updates i can give it a try 
actually i don't have any fingerprint module so i haven't worked on any project like that but obviously if uh, in future i get to buy any of those like something that then i will surely try to bring a project like that that's all in this video thank you for watching and you can get this script on our github also follow me on github and do subscribe to watch more videos like this thank you for watching